I want to open in Romans chapter 12. So Paul says in verse 1, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable to God, which is your reasonable service. And do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. We're following breaking news tonight. A deadly multiple shooting in the town of Menasha. That's just south of Appleton. 17 shots later, three people were dead, including a father and daughter, Jonathan Stoffel, and his 11-year-old daughter, Olivia. His wife, Erin, was shot three times but survived and managed to get her two other children to run to safety. Farther along, no all about. Farther along, understand why. Police say Jonathan Stoffel was just enjoying a day in the park with his wife Erin and their three children. Farther along, know all about it. Farther. They loved the Lord, they loved other people, they loved serving. They had such a gracious and warm spirit about them, all of them. Ron Halma is principal at Fox Valley Christian Academy in Nina, where the Stoffel family's children attend school along with Calvary Bible Church next door. He says he knew Jonathan very well. He volunteered to come in and help me teach some carpentry skills to uh, some students and uh, what a great way with kids and giving of his time like that. Halma described fifth grader Olivia as full of questions and smiles. Just a sweet spirit about her. She would talk to our counselor and at, just be contemplative about heaven and what heaven was like and you know and just smiled thinking about that Farther along, know all about it. Farther along, understand why so cheer up my brother Live in the sun and shine. Still much recovering to do, but today Aaron Stoffel's condition was upgraded from critical. It's still considered serious, but family members say she is awake and she is communicating. Aaron Stoffel's husband, John, and their 11-year-old daughter, Olivia, were killed in Sunday's shooting. 31-year-old Adam Bentdahl of Appleton was also killed. Fox Lemon's Ben Krumholtz spoke tonight with members of the Stoffel family. And Ben, what they shared with you is really beyond compelling. Yeah, Tom, I spoke with Brian Stoffel, who is John's brother. He showed me the messages Erin wrote to family just after her surgeries at Theta Clark Medical Center. Erin had a breathing tube, so she couldn't speak. But this morning, that breathing tube was removed, so she's now telling family what exactly she meant in those messages. One of the first messages she wrote was to her parents. You can see it says, forgave the shooter. Brian says the family originally thought Aaron meant John said that to her as his last words. However, he says after speaking with Aaron, John's last words were actually to the shooter, saying, I forgive you. Brian showed us other messages Aaron wrote. Some are difficult to read, but one said, he so loved Jesus. Brian said that was likely Aaron explaining why John forgave the shooter. Now, Brian said the family has chosen to not do any on-camera interviews yet, but he did share some statements with me about his brother and his niece. About his brother, John, Brian said he was the greatest man he ever knew. He was fun, loving, and a joy to be around. He says his family is going to miss him very much. About his niece, Olivia, Brian said she and her dad had the same heart. She will be greatly missed, and they all loved her so much. Brian also said it was difficult to put into words what the two of them meant to him, However, he said that their love for Jesus explains John's forgiveness for the shooter. Farther along, know all about 
for uh, serving is is for the sake of the gospel like Landon said um, well it's all about numbers it's not about how many people come into church it's about the one that comes to Christ and all of heaven rejoices it's about numbers in the kingdom not here in this building Father shooting victims were killed, but all day there's been an outpouring of love and support for their family. But still I get heartbreak, stone every side, between the rock and the compromise, like truth in a pack of lies fighting for my soul. I got no place left to go, cause I got changed by what I've been shown, there's more glory than the world has known, it keeps me rambling on, and skipping like a from his stall, I'm free to love once and for all And even when I fall, I get back up Through the joy that overflows my cup Heaven filled me with more than enough Broke down my levees and my bluffs Let the flood wash me And one day when the sky rolls back on us Some rejoice and the others fuss Cause every knee must bow and tongue confess The Son of God, he's forever blessed this is the kingdom and we're the guests So put your voice up to the test Sing, Lord, come so When we're um, serving as unto the Lord Do your charitable deeds as unto Him And don't post on Facebook that Look what I did, you know Because um, that's your reward Everyone will say, oh, good job Oh, you're such a good person And well, if that's what you want for reward You got it And and that's all you're going to get. But how much more would you want to find favor from your Father in heaven? Do it as unto him and um, leave it as unto him. And uh, for him to reward you openly in heaven, I don't know how that's going to look, but it's going to probably be a lot neater than a little pat on the back from uh, people here on earth. Oh, yeah.
Something very dear was taken away from the Fox City Sunday night. A sense of safety, a sense of happiness. But these people joined together to take it back. We're going to have an opportunity to heal and there's such a hope that we get to share. Hundreds gathered in Fritzy Park Thursday for a prayer vigil. They held hands and leaned on one another for support. It was just a hug, just to talk with somebody. Attendees prayed for the victims of the Trestle Trail shooting. As hard as it is, you just got to continue on with uh, daily life and get over the tragedy and just, uh, keep them in your memories. They also prayed for the family of shooter Sergio Valencia del Toro. For Adams, John and Olivia's. Sergio's family. I think of his fiance and and all their family and my heart just aches for them. After the prayers, hundreds walked across the Friendship Trestle Trail, an act that showed this is still a place meant for fun and joy. Satan tried to put fear and terror in people's hearts and we need to take it back. We need to know that it's a safe place. It's beautiful. People later joined in a potluck dinner, enjoying the park, weather, and sense of togetherness. It just says that there are people who really do care because it would be easy just to write off, but we are all grieving whether we like it or not. But those we spoke with told us that grief can't last forever. We know that you're in the business of making all things new. And Thursday, these people asked a higher power to help renew this park, trail, and community. Heavenly Father. We love you. We thank you for being our example, for laying down your life, for serving, for emptying yourself of what, who you were. You're entitled to. You had the power of God. You, you just laid it down and did as your Father uh, desired. Lord, may we lay down our life as a living sacrifice, wholly acceptable to you, that we may um, come before you and know what the, your perfect, acceptable, what your will is for us, that you make it clear to us that we can serve you wholeheartedly, to do it joyfully, and um, that we can please you, Lord. I pray that you would stir up in us, that you would speak to us what our part is. Lord, may we uh, have that quiet time to you to seek you and, and to hear from you. Uh, what would you have us to do and to do well, uh, to do it diligently as unto you. Lord, we want to please you and we want people to come to know you, Lord, and we want to be your vessels to be used for you. So here we are, Lord. We lay ourselves before your feet. Do as you desire. In Jesus' name. Amen.